I saw a shirt with something like this on it and I just loved the concept. I just, I thought it was very, it, th I loved the way it made me feel. So I'm trying to recreate it. And so I took this Dollar Tree heart and I painted it with red acrylic paint. It did take two coats. And then I used some antique dark brown beeswax and just with my finger rubbed it on the edges and, and some in the middle just to give it kind of like a, an older look. And then I used my ink pad no, my ink mat. <laughs> I used my ink mat. It's sticky. So when you're going to ink on, or if you're going to paste, I'm actually using paste, but if you're going to use fabric, the ink mat just holds your fabric tight so it doesn't move. I love it. So I'm using the one of the wing patterns, and I'm using black paste. Um, I did not use ink because I'm not going to wash it, so I'm not going to have to heat set it. It's going to be fine with the paste. So I just squeegee the paste on, and then I pull it off. If you missed any anywhere, you can lay it back down and fix it. And I love the detail of these wing transfers. So then I cut them out, and at first, I was going to try to keep it as one piece and just put it behind the heart, but it didn't work out. So I did separate them. I cut them apart. And it took a little bit to cut these because of the feathers, but it's so worth it. So I just went in and out and cut, you know, I'm just sitting here in my craft room watching TV, <laughs> so it's fine. So I cut them out and then I decided that in order to have it lay the way I wanted to, I needed to cut up the, the last row of feathers a little bit. So I just cut up on the fabric a little bit. I'll show you on the other one a little better. And then I just wrapped them around the heart. And that was the concept. So I saw a t-shirt with this on it and it just felt like, you know, wings wrapped around your heart. I just, I really liked it. So I wanted to try to create this and I'm making an ornament. And I think it came out pretty good. So I just wrapped it around and kind of played with it. And then here is where you're gonna see me cut that bottom row. And I just cut them up a little bit to separate them. And then I just glue it to the back of the heart and just kind of wrap it around and fold it around and just tack it down with some hot glue right where I want it. And then I just put a twine hanger on it and made a cute ornament. And then when I was playing with it, I thought, I want to do one with the wings out. So I'm doing another one. <laughs> You're not going to have to see me do it all. So I painted the heart red again. And I used my ink mat and I put the wings on. And this time there's going to be two so I there's two pieces so that's why you see me pinning it together so I cut out two pieces and then what I did was I put hot glue around the top of the wing and then I added a pipe cleaner that way I could form it um, shape it how I wanted to and then I just glued the the piece the top piece to it and I just kind of made sure it was all glued down around the top and at the bottom you'll see I just kind of tack it in places at the bottom but I did that to both of them. I just glued along the top of the wing, added a pipe cleaner, and then just glued a, the top piece to it. And that just gives you the ability, again, to shape it how you want to shape it. And then see, I just tacked down a couple places in the bottom. It's not all glued, glued together, but it doesn't need to be. And then I just glued them to the heart. I think it came out really cute. You could put somebody's name on this. You could, there's a lot of things you could do with it. And see, then you can just shape them. Shape them so they look like they're not just straight and put a hanger on it. And I hung them on my little angel tree that I have hanging year round. I really like how they came out. I'm very happy with them. Let me know what you think. I did use a coffee stain tea towel to make them. So it was, the fabric was very light. Which one do you like better? Do you like one better than the other? Let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that share button for me. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And have a great day.